What's up, everyone? Hopefully, everyone's doing well. Um, today is March 3rd of 2023. It is 3.52 p.m. here on the East Coast in the USA of uh, the state of Connecticut. Um, I haven't done a PlayStation vid uh, Vita video in quite some time now. And this kind of just came across my uh, uh, my desk, you could say. Uh, or I've been browsing Reddit on the Vita hack forums or Vita piracy forums, and this came about. I don't ever remember doing a video of this, so I'm going to do one. Um, it's really easy. I already have the data files. Thank you to whoever um, sent the link out to the data files on the Reddit thread. I got them. All you have to do is just drag and drop the data files into um, the UX0 slash data folder, and then install the VPK, and you're good to go. Um, this link will be down in the description below. It tells you the controls and how to set up the game itself. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, you should be good to go, guys. So for starters, I'm going to show you. This is what you need, and it's all been compiled for you. Thank you to the user, like I said, from the Reddit forums. Is the VB VPK. VPK, yes, VPK. So let's, come on. So there's the zip file. All you do is open it up, drag and drop these two to the desktop, and there you go. So let's boot up the PlayStation Vita, load in the Vita shell, and go from there, guys. All right, once you boot, booted up your PlayStation Vita, you want to scroll down to wherever your Vita shell is. You want to enter the Vita shell. Next, you want to hit the start button. You want to go down to where it says select button. Now move the D-pad over left or right, doesn't matter, to FTP or USB. Whatever method, method you prefer to use uh, to transfer files over. We're going to be using the USB method, so we're going to leave it as that, this. Next, you want to plug in your USB cord to the either your desktop or your laptop to the PlayStation Vita, and you want to hit the select button. So since I don't have my um, the wire plugged into the my laptop, I'm getting this message right here. So once I plug my wire in, we'll be all set. So I'll see you over at the uh, my laptop again. Alrighty, people, since we're connected to the USB method to my PlayStation Vita, or you could do the FTP method, but you gotta download um, like an FTP client software to connect uh, the PS Vita to the FTP um, but we're doing the USB method so what you want to do here go to your um, what is it Explorer I guess you call it uh, while I was on vacation my computer updated to the Windows 11 so everything's excuse me brand new to me I actually like it better than the 10 um, unfortunately my desktop it's not capable of 11 I guess unless I go into the, the BIOS and figure something out or whatever but uh at any rate let's go to there we go this is my playstation vita you want to go to data you want to drag and drop the doom 64 ex folder you want to back out you want to scroll down to where if you're more than welcome to have the folder or the VPK, it's up to you. If you don't want to, just drag and drop right to whoop, drag and drop right here, and it'll drag right to the root. Or you want to put it in the folder, you can put it in the folder if you want. Totally up to you guys. So that's it. We're done. Uh, next, we're gonna go back over to the PlayStation Vita side of things. Um, go into the Vita shell and show you what to do next. So uh. Stay tuned. All right, now we're back on the Vita shell. Um, what you want to do now, I'm just going to show you. Go down the UX0. Sorry about my big head in the reflection. There you go. Data folder. There you go. Files right there. So you want to scroll down to your folder if you got one. You don't need one if you don't want one. I'm going to install this. Once this is installed, um, Yes. All right, I'm going to turn the volume. Once this is installed, I'm going to shut up and uh, maybe...
play a few seconds of the game. Um, so I'll leave, it, I'll leave it from here. I'm going to delete this file, this VPK, since I don't need it. Remember, the VPK is going to be in the zip file. You're more than welcome to delete it or delete the file or just keep it on your system. It's wicked small. It's not going to take up too much space. So next, I what I usually like to do is I like to hit the start button and go to reboot. You're more than welcome to do that. Or you could just um, hit the PlayStation button and swipe out. You're still good. This is doing for you. So from here on out, like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and I'll catch you guys later.